Krikor wants to play. Let's play Krikor Mechatarian. I haven't played Krikor, I feel like, outside of actual events. I want to adopt Krikor if I can. Okay, let's play B3. Krikor are also generally very slow, so... Have I adopted Krikor or not? I feel like I, someone can check on Rose and score. Have I? Have I adopted Krikor as a Mechatarian man or not? I have? Oh. So it's nice, but it's not super nice. I should have played C4. Why did I play E4? C4, play in the center of the board. There it takes. I have rook C1. Krikor is very slow. That's what I remember. He's a very good player, but he's generally very slow. Although I did blunder here. Lovely. Um, I guess I'll go here. I should have gone to F3. Why did I go to C4? But I have knight b6 also. Um, play f4. Yeah, I feel like I'm moving too fast. Yeah, I'm moving too fast in these games. It's like knight c5. There's also bishop c5, which could be bad too. But Krikor is not streaming, it looks like. I, I, it doesn't look like Krikor is actually streaming this, is he? Drop back. Yeah, he's not streaming, so it, it would it would show it would show if he's streaming. A five looks very wrong. Uh, I'm just gonna play A three. I also have bishop b6 somewhere too. I'm gonna go here and trade, I guess. Also, did I? No, I guess I didn't have 95 there, but a6 is a good move from Krikor. I think I'll just play a4 here and take with a rook. My position is absolute garbage here. Oh, and I just blundered again, I think. Or no, I've got rook d7, luckily. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just blundering. It goes c5, which I'm actually kind of happy to see. Because now at least I guard the pawn. I get to play a little bit. Like, I trade and go here. And then e5, and then like... Yeah, now it's still bad, but it's it's playable at least. Is there? Of course, I could take, but I don't I don't want to give Krikor a draw. If I were to trade, I mean I have to try and flag him. And that doesn't seem like the right approach. King f1 also a horrible move, just blundering knight f5. But okay, now Krikor's starting to finally blunder, and I, I should win the game. I take take, and now I've got the outside juicer, and now I should win the game. I also have b4 b5 here maybe. Yeah, I think this is correct. Takes, takes, here, here. Yeah, that should be winning. I go here and I just start pushing the P. Yeah, there, there's just no chance. Just walk the bishop back, just soften the pawn. It's also the right color queening square too. So he just resigns. going let's play d6 here the knight c6 or actually no let's go bishop g4 maybe c5 here knight d7 keep it going um bullet brawl there is no bullet brawl tonight that's for sure um just take i mean i assume i should play knight f6 here i think i'm gonna go knight e7 take and like here maybe knight e5 knight f5 it's castle. I have 95 as always at multiple points. I also have f6 here. Bishop f6 also move. 
So let's go here, trade the bishops. I mean, he's got bishop h6, rookie 8 Show goes on. He trades, which I don't like at all. Because now I get the knight to d4, and I assume I'm just clearly better. I can also reroute the other knight to e5. Like, we'll go here, knight e5, maybe. Look at d's knights. Very, very active. Look at d's knights. Actually, knight e4 might not be right, but... I have f5. I also have queen a5 to hit the queen. There's also knight f5 back. Why do I play c5 instead of e5? Oh, that's just a blunder I just take. You just blunder that. Go back here, pin the knight again. Now I just rook e8 and f5. And okay, now it's just very easy. Now I just move the knight back and very, very happy times here. Just easy win. Just very smooth. a6, knight f7. Mm. Actually, let's go to d7. It's a6, knight f6, rook e3 with the kebab. It's all over. So I, I guess I already have an adoption of Kree Core if I'm if I understand correctly. Let's play a6. So here, rookie eight, of course. But we'll try to get another one. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, yes. Let's go c4, d4. Okay, takes, I'll take. Take if he trades, I just play the end game should be fine queen a5 is a slight problem but I'll pre-move king d1 in case he takes if he doesn't knight d2 I can just play I adopted creek in March of 2020 that long ago wait March March of 2020 you say wow so during the heart of the pandemic the old days the glory days as we say the glory days Rook c1 also is fine. Let's go rook c1. The glory days. Go here, hit the pawn on f7. Yep, the glory days. Let's see what Krikor does here. Uh, I think I'll just castle. I mean, I've got a very, very good position. Like, bishop e2 and rook c5. I also have b5 lurking. Back when Hikaru did collabs. <laughs> good one, you guys. Good one. Yeah, I mean, I, I know people always make the jokes about it, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, I, I did all I could. And um, uh, let's go here and play the work D1. Like, I mean, if people want to do collabs, they can always ask me. Nobody ever asks me. So, like, I'm not going to go out of my way, like, at this point. Um, I'm going to go here with Rook C5. Big threat, by the way. Also, Queen A1. So, I've got multiple threats here. Price that you pay... Did I have e4 also? e4 might have been winning. Wait, e4, queen h5. Wait, e4, loot. Wait, e4. I have queen a1 also, but e4, queen h5. Rook c5, e5. Somehow it feels like it's winning, but I, I don't actually know if it is. Okay, wait, e4, queen h5. Queen a1, knight e8 takes. It really feels like there's a win here that I'm missing, but because I I, I just don't see it, I'm gonna play queen a1. It really feels like there's a win there that I'm missing, but I don't know. I just don't see it. So let's trade. Go here and the knight e4, knight f6, of course. I don't see a forced win, but I assume that I have something. There's knight f6 lurking. There's also B oh I should have just checked first and then played rook c1 because now he's 98 to cover the square I mean I'm still probably gonna win but ah. don't know why I played b5 either yeah I'm just moving too fast trying to cheese him on the clock here or wait actually 95 I can trade and go queen c3 queen c7 or something Yeah, because if I take, take queen c3, it's queen c7 to guard everything. And then knight f6, king f8. Oh, knight f6, king h8, queen b2, maybe. Knight f6, queen f8, queen b4. Maybe I missed something there. Maybe I missed something. Go here. Look at these knights in the middle of the board. There's also knight g4 looming now. 
the gl the glory days of COVID nineteen. I mean, that's when all the growth in chess was happening, though. So, um, I can also go knight g four, but I think I just take and go here. I mean, it feels like this should be winning somehow with these knights. Maybe not. Did I see Jimmy Butler's new style? No, I didn't. Let's see what he does though. Ice skater alert? No, this is not an ice skater. Ice skater is a background check. This is a little bit different. Did I get an adoption? I did get an adoption. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's play G6 again. Are there any more games today? What do you mean by games today? Exactly. Do I have any tattoos? No, I do not, you guys. No tattoos. The Florida Panthers will not repeat their success? I don't know. I'm not following hockey super closely. I haven't been following it since um, the end of last season. Take. 97, of course. I'll take again. Play 97. All very standard stuff here. Do I use full screen mode? No. What you guys see is the board I use. No, because if you use full screen, you don't see your opponents. No siree. I do not do that. Oh, is Magnus still playing? No, Magnus won his game pretty smoothly. I don't think I'll do a recap because it's a pretty pretty smooth crush, honestly. It's just a very, very good game. Um, so I, I don't think so. Yeah, Krikor back in the set if he wants to play this end game or this, this late middle game again with the bees versus the knights. E4, interesting move. Play rookie eight. Maybe queen b6 to hit the pawn. This also isn't normally what Krikor plays, the style of, of game. I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Let's play a6 to stop knight b5. I actually don't like how I'm playing this game. I guess I'll just go back to F6. This is going to be a very long, slow game. The soak of the sun. What do I think about, uh, about the MLB playoffs? I'm not following MLB super closely. I mean, Trey, let's go B5, of course. I think it was a mistake that, that he let me get B5 because now I get to play on the queen side much more than I should. Pre move is a safe one. Okay, it goes rook a1. I have rook e8 here. I can also take. If I take, take, and play rook e8. I mean, this feels right. It just feels right. Um. Actually, it felt right, but is it right? Because knight d5, there's bishop e4, knight f6. I was going to go rook e8, and then I realized there's bishop d3. I guess I'll just play here in knight f6, maybe. I have definitely misplayed this. So here. I want to go knight f6 with knight c7. Wait, but now I can go knight f6. Or not. Okay, I guess let's go. Oh, what, why did I play that? I didn't mean to play that. Whoops. Yeah, I did not mean to play that. Why did I do that? I'm still okay, I guess. But I did not mean to play knight c7. I meant to play rook d8 first. Okay, now I'm getting counterplayed. I'm probably going to win here because now b3 and d5 and knight d4 exist. So I'm just going to win the game here. I should play the world blitz. Uh, everybody's saying that I have not seen a location listed. Everyone's acting as though there's some announcement on the world rapid and blitz. I have not seen an announcement anywhere. So I don't know where, where are people getting this info from? Like I, I'm, I'm actually like, I'm kind of not joking. Like everyone's acting like there's some like big announcement or it's like it's known. I, I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing this game. B3 is still under attack. What the heck am I doing here? Yeah, now I've completely messed this up. 
But I do have this in rook a2, maybe. And his king is very iffy, and D's knights are very, very problematic. Yeah, D's knights actually just win the game. There we go, another win. There's no info. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I haven't heard any info, so it's very weird when people start talking about it. Okay, knight f3. Somehow this should be a win, but I don't actually see it. Somebody's covering the critical squares. Like, I don't have a win. I have to take, but I mean, now I should just win this end game anyway with these knights. Yeah, it should be a pretty easy win. It starts when? Oh, they're saying it's in Kazakhstan. Okay, well, then I guess I'm not playing. Let's go check and take. That makes my life a lot easier. Um, go here and use these knights. Yeah, I mean, I heard Dubai. Dubai would have gone and played, but in Kazakhstan, almost zero chance of me playing. Um, let's take. Just take. No, I mean they they have to start organizing th these events in real locations. Like, like en enough is enough. You can't just keep holding in these places in the middle of nowhere, um, in in far, the far reaches of Eastern Europe. Yeah, I mean there there comes a point when it's not acceptable. I'm not talking about the U.S. Even the Emirates, the Emirates, Dubai. Like, I mean, I guess Dubai is part of the Emirates, but like the Emirates or the Gulf. Like, I mean, even there I'd probably go. But like holding it in these these republics near Russia, I mean. It's very disappointing to hear. Extremely disappointing. Yeah, it's just castle. So yeah, I would say, I mean, the chances of me playing are probably like 20% max. So. Why do I like Kazakhstan? I don't have a problem with it, but it's literally traveling two days around the world to get there. Um, like, it's just too much. It's, I mean, come on, it's too much. Go here and push B2 and Knight F1. I know I did that. No, what? Sorry, by twenty percent, what I meant is there's like twenty percent chance. There are no sponsors elsewhere. Then that's Fide's fault. I mean, it's it's Fide's fault that they can't find proper sponsors. So that's just the bottom line. We'll go here, probably trade trade. Fide is still run by former USSR crooks. Well, I mean, be careful what you say. I mean, crooks is going a bit far, but. But yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like things are going the right direction. I would say that. Um, but that is that is actually, I'm going to be honest, very disappointing to hear. Very, very disappointing. Um, but it sort of speaks volumes about FIDE that they can't find sponsors other than these former republics. We can get Rooks the 8. I don't actually know why I'm so deep in the tank. I'm thinking way too long. Um, let's go here. Wow, he trades. This looks a little bit questionable. Maybe it's fine for black. Um, actually, maybe it's completely fine, I guess. I'll go here. I don't have what I want. Yeah, this is not what I, this is not what I was aiming for at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to play this very slow grind. Actually, I'm down on time here, I just realized. Yeah, I'm down on time. So I need to actually pick up the speed tremendously here. Yeah, I need to pick up the speed for sure in this game. It goes bishop e7. I can still trade. Um, got to move. You got to move. Go here, maybe. I don't know what I'm. He's also just got d4, which I missed too. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm playing terribly. But I do have queen c7 or some trick, maybe. Let's go here. I mean, I'm going to try to flag him, obviously, but. Yeah. Oh, and now I just wanted Rook D1, too. What the heck? Uh, 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to flag Krikor here. I'm gonna try to complicate this a little bit. Oh, did I just blunder? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win this game. Yeah, I tricked him. <laughs> I tricked him. This might still be a draw with Bishop F8, but very dangerous. There we go. Another win. All right, halfway there. Five more to go. Not the best chess you'll ever see, but good enough. He's definitely tilted now. Yeah, that was not like that was not the best shots I've ever played, but okay, let's go here. Play 95 right away. Castle, I guess. Yeah, Krigor is definitely a little bit on tilt now, though I can tell. Play A6 maybe. I'm gonna go here and reroute the knight to F6. I want to go one two maybe. I also have F5. No, but I think F5 there's rookie six. So why would I do that? That's bad. Let's see two. Uh, let's just go here. Yeah, it's, it's turned into a pretty standard position now. Standard Ben Oni. Um, let's see what he does. F five was obviously a move too, but I I didn't like it. Let's see what he plays. In your games, you prefer knights or bishops. Depends on the structure of the games, honestly. Um, I think what I would say broadly, I, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just like making random moves here. Let's go here. I'm trying to actually get my knight back to d4. So I can tell Krikor is really dead set on my knights not getting to d4. Um, I would say that generally speaking, I think um I think that when when I'm playing these blitz games like I am right now, I, I almost always like the knights better than bishops, especially if we get down to the last 30 seconds of the game. Uh if we get down to the last 30 seconds, I've got D's knights. I always like knights. At the start and blitz is fairly irrelevant, it doesn't really matter. Oh, I should take with a bishop. Okay, let's go here and knight c5. He was sure I would take with the bishop. Okay, but now I get the bastion with knight c5. Yeah, now it's getting kind of ugly. I've got queen b6. I've got like rook e8. I also have f5 somewhere. Yeah, if I trade, I can trade, of course, but I also can go f5. I kind of like f5, but I kind of don't. But I kind of do, but I kind of don't, but I kind of do. So let's just play queen d8. Trade. Oh, he's going to go rook e1. Wait, but this hangs a pawn. No, takes, takes. Queen b6, queen e2. I think this is bad. He has queen e2, but I think I just go bishop f6 and king g7. And I think he's in trouble here. Maybe not in big, big trouble, but he's in trouble. Yeah, he's in trouble here for sure. So, yeah. Play queen takes h1 if I could, I would. So, yeah. See what he does here. Yeah, this should be pretty good for me, objectively. With G3. So he just gives up the pawn gratis. Gratis. So I assume I should take and take. Oh, uh, oh wait, why did I do that? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I I just did something I wasn't supposed to do. What the heck? That was that was just insane. I just confused my sequence. There. Let's 
there. Yeah, I'm actually misplaying this, but he could have traded and gone C5, I think. And I think he was actually winning there, but okay, he missed it, thankfully. And now I think I might be winning again. Because now I get F5 and, and I've got the classic Connect 5. Yeah, I think he just blundered. I, I got really careless there, and now I think it's now I think it's unclear. Now I think it's very murky again. The once I get the king, he loses all pawn push, and he's too slow. I think he just realized it too. I think he realized it. Yeah, he realized it, so he resigns. Keep going, four more to go. Okay, I need to play this one better though. Yeah, I, I mean, I like that position that I got. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. C4. E4 is, I think actually now I can play E4 because D4 I have C5. Yeah, yeah, now I can play E4 because D4, C5 should be fine. Or at least I hope it is. If he takes, I have Bishop A3, goes A5. Go Knight B6. Just work B8 and what am I doing again? Not so convincing. Do I know this guy personally? I, I don't think I know Krikor personally, but I've seen him at many tournaments over the years because he is, um, he's Brazilian Armenian. So he, um, so like he knows Levon and a lot of the other, the other folks. Um, so I'm just going to go F4 here. So because he knows like Levon and a lot of the other people, like I, I quasi know him. So it's like kind of in between. So I do know him, but I also don't know him all, all at the same time. If that makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense. Wait, now I have Bishop A3. I also have Bishop B5. I'll just go here to hit the knight, maybe. But yeah, Krikor is a very nice guy. Very, very, very nice guy. Um, see what he does here. I'm gonna go like Rook C8, I guess, and then Vishba Three. Or so. I mean, it's still very, very hard to judge. He was playing in my city these days. Ah, okay. Yeah, Krikor is he's he's uh he's of Armenian descent. I think he's he's been in Brazil forever. Um wait, so if I take take Bishop A3, what am I missing? Queen E5, Rook F5. Okay, let's just go for it. I could have also played B7, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, like I could have played B7 here, or maybe even here, just B7, but I, I don't know. I didn't trust it, so whatever. Yeah, we'll be doing master stuff a little bit later on. So he takes. Now I have rook f5. I also, have, I also have bishop c5 though at the end game. But wait, rook f5, queen b8. Yeah, I think I should play rook f5 here to hit the queen. I don't actually know what's going on here. I take. If I play queen c5, queen e4. Doesn't look right, so I should take with a rook. And somehow I've already mis misplayed this again, and now I'm not even like winning. Ah, frustrating. Let's go here. I still have winning chances, but it was a4. I don't like a4 at all. Um, I have rook c6. I feel like I'm wait I can also just take the pawn wait what am I doing I just take the pawn yeah rook d8 I can sack the queen even I can sack and go rook c8 which should be close to winning okay four so I can go rook c4 I can also play rook c4 here I think this is correct because rook d8, I also have rook d5, maybe. This should be winning. Queen, d queen there. Okay. No actual threat, so let's just play h3. 
Okay, B5 looks good somewhere. Maybe just here already. Let's just go for it. Because this B pawn is just ma massing up the board in a, in a hurry. Of course, I miss Rook B8 naturally, but I still have Queen C5 maybe. Okay, but that should be wrong because of Rook A4, I think. Because now Queen A2, I have Queen E5 check. Takes Rook C4, Queen D5. Or I've got rook e8 also. Wait. Yeah, let's go here. F6 loses to queen a7. G5 should be losing too. Yeah, G5 is losing as well. And rook c8 is a move, but yeah, I go check, check. And then queen d1, and it's just, I win the rook. Yeah, he resigns. Let's keep going. Seven out of seven. I'm gonna keep playing the C5. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's wrong to do this because he gets to blitz out the opening every game, but I don't know. It just just seems right to do this. Why are there no more meme reviews on YouTube? I'll probably get back to them at some point. I think I no, I can't can't go F5. Why do I keep playing this line? Actually, it's not it's not great. Let's go here. I'm probably going to play F5 somewhere soon. There's rookie two. I do have F5 again. I don't know if I want to play it, though. I don't think I do. I don't want to go B5. I'll just go here. Maybe rookie eight. This looks very wrong for me, but whatever. Yeah, and he gives me b5 here. Play here in b5. Well, there was also a pawn that I could have taken on c3, maybe, but probably way too risky with bishop c1, bishop b2. Go b5. b5 is probably a move, but I'm, I just don't want to risk it because there's no need to be crazy here. If I just keep these games going and eventually just squeeze slowly but surely, he will eventually crack. It does play g4. Um here i have bishop d4 i've got a five oh, i plays queen g3 which not a move i was expecting um no but i'm, I'm playing very poorly this game and i don't i don't even know why but i am go here me rookie seven yeah i think i'm gonna trade some pieces here just got to keep my nerve I think I need to mix the openings up. I'm playing too many openings where Krikor gets to blitz out the first 20 moves, which is not what I should be doing. Let's just trade. Okay, I have knight h5 here, f5, f6 or something. Knight h5, f5, bishop b5 gets very murky. So I want to do it. Hmm. My gut instinct says no, I shouldn't do it. h5, of course. I had f6 too, but f5, there's knight e5 now. Yeah, I'm playing too many openings where Krikor gets to blitz out 20 plus moves. And I think that's a big mistake. I can go F5 somewhere soon. Let's go rookie eight. Yeah, I think now I'm going to go F5. Just lock it up. If takes, I get knight takes or bishop takes. And now I have knight F8, which I think he missed. This does give me bishop D4 maybe. To hit this. I don't know how I'm supposed to win this game either, though. That's the other problem. Let's go here. I need to pick up the speed, too. But I don't even know how I'm supposed to pick up the speed. Yeesh. How do I do this? Nothing is on the right square here. And I'm down on clock too, which doesn't help. I think I have to route the king around somehow. You know, like I'm gonna have to go like queen g7, try to reroute the knights. Uh, 
Let's go here. I feel like I'm starting to get chances if I can just slowly. Queen d4 is a move, but it doesn't look right. Let's go here. Let's go queen d4 now, maybe. If I play b5, doesn't look right. No, let's just drop back. Trying to bring my knight in, maybe. Some point I'll probably play B5. I don't know when. Okay, now I'm gonna go for it. Um. Oh, did I have Queen C3 there? I had Queen C3, which I missed. Okay, let's go here. here there he blunders there we go There we go. Stop both pawns. There we go. Close, close. Very, very close game, but we got the win. Yeah. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, I'm gonna play this differently. I'm gonna play a different line this time. Mix it up. Now let's go B3, Bishop B2. Yeah, yeah, no, no nonsense. Yeah, I, I, that game was actually at the end. Time was a lot closer than I thought it was. A lot closer. I mean, he could try to castle. Okay, he doesn't castle queen side. I was just preventing it. I feel like, I don't know, knight d2 is fine. I think knight d1, knight d3 is also fine, as I, as I recall. Yeah, that was very tricky, though. At the end, I didn't realize just how low on time we both were. But it worked out. We got to eight. Two more to go. It's insane how you how you saw the correct knight in check. I didn't see it, though. It took me a second before I spotted it. I didn't spot it immediately. Let's go here and pressure the knight. Yeah, I didn't spot that immediately. You saw it took me a, like a split second. It took me probably two sec, two, three seconds to spot it. But luckily, I did spot it. Okay, I think I'm going to go knight of four here. Okay, that's a good move, too. Um, I think I'll go knight d1. I think my idea here is to play f3 and kick the knight and then slowly try to push in the center of the board, maybe. Not 100% sure if that's right, but it looks like the right concept, objectively. Plays h5, okay. I guess I'll go f3. I can play h4 too. Uh, not knight f2, rather, but... The rookie one looks fine, just to go knight f2 here. I mean, h4, I just want to go knight f2. Actually, maybe I should play... No, knight of two looks correct. This is correct. Okay. It's a hard position to judge. Um, I would I prefer to have these age pawns on the board, but nonetheless, it should be okay. Yeah, two more for the adoption. Exactly. Uh, of course, I should play queen e two. I think I'm gonna go e four and d five somewhere very soon. A five. What does A5 actually do? Does it do anything? 
Oh, could I have just gone? Five. I'm trying to figure this out. I guess I'll just play here. I'm trying to figure out if I could have played E4 somewhere. Okay, now he plays A4, which does actually let me go E4. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to build this big white center and attack him immediately. This has to be right. I mean, there's E5, there's D5, all kinds of pressure. We could all call eight in a row an oct, oct option. Oct option? Okay, sure. I'm also threatening Knight G6 to hit the Knight on G5. I should win this game pretty soon, I think. Yeah, this game has not been Creek Horse's best game ever. Um, now, do I take with the Rook or the Queen? Also, a very big question. My gut says take with the Queen just to pressure the pawn, open up the scope. I don't, Knight G6 doesn't, does not feel like a threat. Um, and the queen on d2 after takes, I mean, I, it feels like there might be something on like d file. So intuitively, queen takes seems right. Nihal just won crossing 2700. That is awesome. Great to hear. Um, this, however, does not look right. I have e5. Yeah, let's go e5. There's knight g4, knight d5. Look at d's knights again. The knights, d's knights are all jumpy up in the business. There's knight d5. Oh, knight d5, queen e6, knight d7 is good too. Actually, yeah, the queen of eight, knight to seven, same fork. Fork town, USA. Go here, hit the bishop, hit the rook. GG. I'll probably resign here, I think. Let's take. Um, I have knight g4 here, which I kind of like, just because he can't ever move the knight without giving me a fork. Go here, I guess, and takes knight f6. I mean, this looks very, very bad. Should just be a very easy one now. Let's take. Let's go here. I have rook c2 and rook h2. At least that's my idea to go for the classic mate. Yeah, it's just GG on the spot. Or no, he's got queen e7, I guess, to hang on. Uh, e6, knight f3. Oh, I missed knight g5, actually. I go queen e3, though. Knight f3, I sacked the queen. I made him with the rook and the knight. GG. There we go. Very good. One away from the adoption, you guys. And we're still getting two points for every win as well. Okay, let's go one more. The Botez Gamma speedrun, yeah, is still going. Um, This time I'm going to play something different. I, I mean, I kind of want to do something different. Uh, let's go C5. I want to do something different so Krikor has to use time in the opening. Because he's getting too many moves too quickly. So even though I'm able to beat him on the clock... He's not having to spend as much time as I'd like him to have to spend in these openings. Um, wait, this looks wrong. Or wait, am I wrong? No, I'm wrong. I'm an idiot. I think I've blundered this before, by the way, in actual, ga actual games on chess.com. Um, this is stupid. Yeah, this is very stupid by me. I guess I'll go B6 maybe. Drop back. Let's go here. I've got F6. I mean, I'm either going to get a great position in the next, like, five moves, or I'm going to get a garbage position, which is losing. Go here and back, I guess. Yeah, it's actually likely going to be really bad. I don't even know what I'm doing this game. Again, I'm, I'm trying to choke it, choke it away in the 10th. Oh, I should have just move my knight also. Just sack the rook and play knight d6. What am I doing? Yeah, again, in the 10th game, I'm trying very hard to choke it away. Um, I guess I go here, though. Oh, my God. Queen g4 was mate in one. Oh, my God. Queen g4 was just checkmate on... That was just mate... Oh, my God. That was mate on e2. That was gg. Or no, queen g4, maybe you could have castled, though. Huh. Queen G4 Castle, maybe white is okay there. What the heck? Very strange. I mean, very strange. Uh, still, I should have played it, though. Because Castle's 96 is winning. Stupid. Yeah, 10th game, I just have to choke it. Yeah, I mean, that's so stupid to not play Queen G4. It's such an obvious move. Okay, now, I mean... The question is, how do I even play this? 
I think I have to go here so that on fish buff one I have 94 otherwise I just lose that's how bad this is man I'll probably find some way to swindle it but I'm, I'm not happy and I guess I play f5 here it goes right there already he's misplaying this though already he's letting me get pieces of squares they, they should not be on and now his bishop on c3 not so great either here hit the pawn okay, he hangs that pawn on h3 but I think I should go here to hit this one first h4 king g3 rook h6 I also have a6 I think I'm gonna play a6 first I'm gonna try to confuse the situation a little bit more let's go like here and take I mean, I could have taken this pawn, but I'm, tr I'm trying to mess it up. I'm trying to make this much more complicated. And now he hangs a2, and now I think I'm well on my way to a win with rook c2. Yeah, there we go. And that's GG. Now I win the game, because now I lose the pawn, and I just win the game. Yeah. Yeah, queen g4 was, was, was ridiculously obvious, but... <sighs> Whatever. Well, I'm wondering after bishop c6, king f8... Be, be where to play king f2 if I only have a draw there I'm not sure but anyway now it's just GG because he loses the pawn and he loses the game do I take the bishop or take the rook ah uh, so I take the bishop he has rook c1 so I have to take the rook oh wait no knight's under attack too what am I doing yeah it's just easy win What's wrong with me? Yeah, easy one, easy one. All right, you guys, we got the big adoption. We beat Krikor Mechatarian for the second time. Let's see how quickly this, the site updates. I want to see if it already updated. Let's see, did it already update? The game just ended. Let's see, did it update? Let's see. Let's change the scene. Probably not. If it updated that fast, I'd be disturbed. Yeah. Wait, did it just update? It updated like right away. Oh my God. It up it literally updated. So it's the 529th time I've adopted somebody. That is just wild.